Mmm, you got me my salsa. And we got beef. Organic. Beefy. Okay, I'm gonna go get the girls. I gotta run over and pick up my two oldest daughters. They, oh! <laughs> Wifey was driving. I do not fit in here. Smashed my knee on the steering column. Um, no key. Crap, I'll be right back. All right, back with the keys. It's a fob. Ta-da! That took a minute. And I got a coffee. Thank you, wifey. Because I'm not a morning person. And uh, without it, I'm just a bit of a mess and a slow starter. All right. Let's go pick up my two daughters. My freaking coffee when I drove around a corner tipped over out of the coffee holder and literally just dumped right onto my lap. I have like half a coffee in my pants, new pants, and the other half just soaked into my seat. going around that corner and I wasn't even going that fast. I'm super pissed right now and annoyed and late for getting my kids and I'm gonna have to turn around and go home and change and clean this vehicle. Thank you wifey for helping clean the car while I changed. I am now in outfit number two on my way to pick up my kids for the second time or attempting. That really sucked. And I'm even more choked because now I'm a person who's not a morning person and I don't have my coffee. All right, back on the road again. Now, here's a great opportunity for me to share with you guys. I strongly believe in law of attraction. Simply put, law of attraction is you are attracting into your life through the power of thought because thoughts are energy. Whether you choose negative thoughts or positive thoughts, that is essentially what you're attracting to you. Now, there is a time delay. It doesn't happen overnight. But generally what you're thinking is what you're always attracting towards you. And when something bad happens to you, like it just happened to me, or I would consider that not the best thing, I could get really pissed about it and stay pissed and the longer I'm upset about it and the more I have these negative thoughts, the more I am attracting other negative things and circumstances and people into my life. I do want, I want to have a positive day. So to have a positive day, I need to have positive thoughts. So I'm going to quickly turn that incident that happened to me into a positive experience, one that I just learned, A to slow down around some of these really sharp corners when I have things in my vehicle. And you know what? It's not the end of the world. I've got new clothes, I'm dry, I'm changed, vehicles cleaned, we move on. Now I need to keep the positive thoughts going so I can attract more positive things, circumstances, and people into my life. Because that's how I make shit happen. I stick my camera up here where the uh, compass is in the Cayenne and so what you can see dangling there is this cable for the uh, radar detector. Just thought I'd point that out, I don't know. Seemed relevant for some stupid reason. Hi. What up? Not much. Christmas went well? Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, you got a Yep. What uh, what's new? I dumped a whole coffee on my lap. Or kind of on my butt. <laughs> um, I like how you think that's funny. <laughs> huh? Real funny, hey? <laughs> I think it's funny. My whole butt was soaked. Hi, what can I get for you? Yeah, can I get a venti blonde roast with uh, two sugars and cream? Yeah, venti blonde, two sugar, one cream. Anything else? Uh, two cream. 
Tea green for sure. Uh, do you get do you want here? Sure, all the grande skinny caramel macchiato. If we get a grande skinny caramel macchiato, mm -hmm. times Good. times two. Times two. So three drinks all together? Yeah, and then uh, a bacon gouda uh, breakfast sandwich, please. Sounds good. Anything else for you? I think that's it. I'm finally done. 1775 at the window. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. This has become like a handy little spot. As long as it's in focus. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Uh, not bad. This is round two for this coffee for me. My wife bought me one and it ended up on my lap. Oh, I'll give you it on the house. No, no, no. Oh, yes. Oh, really? If you didn't get to drink the first one, there's no point in buying another one. Well, yeah, you know, it was my fault. Skinny caramel macchiato. Thank you. <laughs> Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thanks, Jenny. You're welcome. It says, Have a good day. <laughs> Have a good day. That's Did pretty good. they give good. you free coffee for that one? They gave me a free coffee. See, you got the... They gave me a free coffee. Be positive about it. Because, it. yeah. Yeah, right? Law of attraction. And they also have I attracted a free coffee. Woohoo! Now I can wake up for reals. Okay, guys, welcome to the second episode of The Comment Box, where you guys leave comments in obviously the comment box of my YouTube videos, and I answer them, read them out whether they're offensive or rude, or they're really nice, or they're smart, well-asked questions. I just randomly pick a bunch of stuff that I feel has got some entertainment value, or has some educational value, or I'm genuinely just trying to answer some of my very loyal fans' questions. So, let's get to it. Pokey Go, Pokey Go, uh, that's the screen name for this person. Why you bought steel brakes and then hate it? PCCB, he's talking about carbon ceramics, is a different story on the Cayenne. Without PCCB, uh, it's not the best option. So let me address that. I bought this car, uh, it's second hand, it's used, it's not new. It's a 2011, it's five years old, going on six. I bought it because it's got the most updated body style for the most part. There is a slightly refined version of this body style, but it's the newer, nicer body style. I bought it because my first portion was in my price point. I mean, um, I didn't get to spec it and I wasn't going to comb through tons and tons of cars. I mean, I only had like a very narrow gap of, of Cayennes that were in this price range um, for the vehicle. So it, it had what it had. I thought it was fairly well spec. It had the important things we wanted, like the bigger wheels. It was a turbo. It had the Burmeester sound system. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. It had the glass panoramic sunroof. It had heated and um, heated steering wheel, heated seats, power everything. It was a well well optioned vehicle, so yeah, it didn't have carbon ceramics. I don't know. I've had carbon ceramics; they squeal a lot. On to the next thing. Pro tip: Learn how to use manual focus. I agree with you. The problem is, is manual fake focus doesn't help me a whole lot, considering that I'm in a selfie position, holding the camera at my face and I don't have a screen on the Sony a7S that flips around so I can see if when I'm hitting manual focus, if it is genuinely targeting on my face or if it's targeting something behind me. I've tried manual focus before and just because I'm holding the camera in front of my face doesn't mean it's always focused on me either. I've recorded full clips that I thought I manually focused and it didn't work. So it's a frustrating situation. The focusing thing is something that I, do, I definitely need to address. I don't even know what else to say about it other than um, there are better cameras. I've researched them. The problem is, is I'm typically giving up other good features to have manual better, sorry, a better autofocus on another camera. For example, the Sony a6300 is literally the Guinness world wrecking hold, record holding camera for the fastest autofocus. However, it doesn't have a bunch of features like in-camera stabilization. It doesn't um, have the ability to shoot 4K without having this sloppy shutter side to side effects. The focus situation needs to be corrected and I'm doing what I can to look into. I've been changing settings on this camera and trying stuff, but I'm also even looking at other cameras. My biggest question actually here, you guys can help me with this. Do I need to shoot footage in 4K? 
Yes or no? What's the, what's the main census on this on YouTube? Do, do YouTubers need to future proof their footage for the, you know, by having it in 4K? I don't, I don't know what the answer is to that. So that was another reason why I went with the Sony a7S II is that it was just one of the most highly revered uh, 4K shooting cameras. So that's why I got it. If you guys have camera suggestions, let me know. So another comment here from Carson Johnson. You sound sick or really, really tired. You need to take a break from vlogging and YouTube for a day or two. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. If I was to take a break from projects or things that I'm going 110% at to accomplish a certain level of um, learning and success and all the steps that I'm going through with new businesses, I wouldn't do any. I'm tired just about every day. So I find it like, you know, it's a huge challenge and that's why I'm not going to take a day off unless, you know, I'm basically dying. This is from uh, Coney Tube. Hi, Mr. DD. Remember to give the Ferrari key and its shield. Please, 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 please. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm still trying to formulate what exactly is going to be the contest rules and regulation, so to speak. It's not easy to just come up with just about anything. I want it to be unique and I want it to be fun for you guys. Um, I don't want it to just be some sloppy like, hey, you know, subscribe to my channel and, you know, I don't know, the typical the typical stuff that maybe people do online. Uh, another guy, Banner Works. I would love to see the Huracan in a WRC snow video. Um, complete the snow, complete with snow box. It'd be wicked. Aerial footage, definitely. All that type of stuff would be on my list. You know, drones, using proper sliders, using um, you know proper gimbals and all that to get a really more cinematic uh, point of view. The vlog is different. I mean, it's point, you know, you're holding yourself and just shooting whatever on the, like, run and gun. On the video with the topic, uh, how I make my money, there are a ton, a ton of very specific questions. And I can address a couple of them really quick. So here's a good one from David. I don't know if it's David's on now or David's son now. Anyhow, that's the username. What course did you take in the beginning to become proficient at affiliate marketing? Uh, no, no courses. This is what I did. I worked in a furniture retail store. Through my sales manager, who had a half brother living somewhere else in the country, would come to the store once in a while to visit his half brother. We all went out for beers one night. We all got on really well. We became friends. I found out that he did. Uh, affiliate online affiliate marketing through the course of six months and us wanting to hang out more but me being stuck in a job and him having all this time freedom he eventually said leave working there come work with me it took a quite a while several months after that initial record like suggestion for me to actually get fired slash leave my job it's a whole nother story and go and work with that person and I worked with that person for up to a year and then we parted ways and then I had another business partner and we kind of went off on our own thing. So I had no capital invested. I left straight from a job and I went and worked for this person and kind of learned the ropes and then dove in literally head first into the industry because when I worked for that person, they kept a lot of the secrets of the industry or how the system we were running really made money. So we had to learn and fill those gaps. But at that point we already made enough networking connections with people in the industry that we, we did. We eventually just figured it out on our own. Oh, Sebastian Hernandez. Hi, what's up? Greetings from Mexico City. I would like to know what brand is your camo shirt? I love it and I want one. My camo shirt. Oh, are you thinking about my sweater? Hold on. So this is this. V. Ritchie, Paris. I bought it in Vegas at some store. It's not an endorsement, but if you want to know, it's a camo uh, like sweater. Oh, that's a good question. How much do I make per year? It honestly fluctuates. I work in a commission style um, like e-commerce business where the more I sell, the more money I make. So every year it's different. Like I said before, some years I don't make SVT. Two NV one nine seven one. 
Um, the Casey comment is more of a compliment. The music you're using is perfect and you're actually one of the few uh, vloggers lately who can keep my attention as much as Casey. so don't change uh, any of that. I appreciate it. Let's remember something here. I am brand new at making these short films and I'm doing the daily vlog to challenge myself for the, the two purposes of A, getting better. I get to practice on a daily basis. I'm currently learning at night watching other videos, not just of Casey Neistat, but of other filmmakers. And I'm trying to take things that I see them do um, and apply it to my uh, short videos. And it's gonna change all the time. So you're gonna see, yeah, similarities from Casey Neistat. And you gotta remember, maybe the technique is similar to Casey's, but the thing that Casey's a master at is telling a story. And that's ultimately what I'm trying to learn. And that's not just a Casey Neistat thing. That's a, any filmmaker who's good at filmmaking and making movies or short films or documentaries. It's all about the story. So I'm trying to learn how to tell a good story so that it engages you guys and you feel like you're getting something that's worth your time that you're giving up to watch these videos and I really appreciate that. I'm flattered if some people, you know, try to negatively comment and say, oh, this is like Casey, you're just copying him or whatever. Um, yeah, I genuinely am, I'll admit to it. He's a, he's a brilliant YouTuber and so are a bunch of other people and I'm trying to take all of these people's uh, experience and I'm trying to learn how to replicate it and then eventually I will find my own style and and that comes with time you gotta remember I haven't even been, I've been uh, vlogging now for 30 days I've made 30 films that's nothing so I have a lot to learn um, I hope you guys the people who do watch me are accepting of the fact that I'm trying these these things that some of the other vloggers have done I'm trying to dial in my own style and at the same time I'm learning not just on the editing side of, of production but I'm learning more on how to use the camera properly, how to eventually get other lenses. I'm just trying to be really dynamic as quickly as possible with what I'm producing for you. So thank you for watching. I really value your time that you're giving up to watch my films. Thank you for your subscribe, uh, the, all the subscribers currently. If you're new to the channel and you're seeing this for the first time, please click the subscribe button. It validates that what I'm doing is I'm on the right path. I'm gonna be bringing a ton of awesome supercar content to you guys because ultimately what the channel's about. I have a lot of great things lined up. My car is gonna be back in the picture real quick. I have an update for you guys before we go here. I just got a text from Ryan at Protective Film Solutions and the car just arrived today, back from VF Engineering. The car now has over 800 horsepower. I'm gonna show you guys a whole whack of uh, updates on that. You hear that thing? I think he revs it here, Ryan. He's a buddy, a good buddy of mine. Listen. So yeah, we need to do an update on the car. That's a whole nother video. I might get to that later tonight or tomorrow. I have pictures of the engine bay. I have some renders of the new wrap and the skin that Protective Film Solutions is putting on it. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to bring you guys all the adventures that this car is gonna be involved in and also coming around to meet as many of you as possible. Anybody who's ever wanted to get hands on with a Huracan is more than welcome in the driver's seat of my car. That's kind of a big, a big part of what I like to do is share the car. So thanks for watching today. Remember, we'll do another episode of the comment box next week. I'm gonna to try to always do it around Wednesday or Thursday. So please leave your comments, good, bad, or ugly. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.